Everybody and throwing strikes, that's you know, that's the key getting ahead of the guys and make. Yeah, I think once you get them on their heels a little bit, you know, with us having the lead, if you can just go out and throw strikes, I think uh, make them swing the bat a little bit. And uh, they're hitting, you know, fortunately they hit some ground balls right at second base, right at shortstop. Adrian Brown made a great play in center field, I think, on the uh, only scare there. That was the only one, Garcia. That was one. Even though that was, that was only the sixth inning, but was it a uh, like you know lump in your throat type feeling? Not, not really. Yeah, a little bit. You know, once you get once you get past the fifth, start thinking about it a little bit. And uh, I think that was the first first pitch fastball that I threw in on a righty all day, and uh, he hit it pretty good. And I was thinking, oh, I hope the wind cuts it down a little bit for Adrian, and unfortunately it did. And then when the groundskeeper comes over and just hands you the mound afterwards, I mean that's uh... yeah, <laughs> unbelievable. I don't think I've ever thrown a no hitter except maybe in little league. You know, I, I know I haven't in high school or above, and. Uh, Still a perfect game, which is unbelievable. What was working today? Uh, yeah, I think the breaking ball is definitely what you know set it up after uh, after getting some ground balls early. I think these guys were a little impatient at the plate and uh, just started uh, throwing soft stuff for strikes, and they were uh, swinging it. That ninth inning, I mean, you were all over the place there. That was fantastic. Yeah, I, you know, honestly, I didn't. Uh, first time I think I've ever been on a mound and been a little you know, really nervous in the ninth inning. You know, <laughs> and. Uh, Fortunately, I, I went out through strikes. It looked like, uh, even though you were nervous, it looked like you were smiling a bit after you know the first couple of strikeouts. That uh, all right, and then the ground ball, you're running over there. You know what are you thinking? Oh, I, as, as soon as they bad caught, I was thinking, there's no way this guy's gonna beat me to the bag. So, <laughs> fortunately, it worked out. Did the guys give you this typical silent treatment during the game and kind of yeah, avoided you and everything? For the most part, after about the fourth inning, I didn't notice when people asked me for anything. They just uh, <laughs> made sure I was sitting in the same spot I was earlier. I mean, this has been uh, this has been a great season for you so far. Everything that's been involved, and then to, to do something like this really must. You know, even with a few more weeks left, you must really put the ice back in. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think I got four starts left, and especially you know playing these guys, they're still in it. We, we've dropped a few games in the last week, and uh, hopefully this will keep us going, and we'll uh, <laughs> get a little bit of. <laughs> so hopefully we'll uh, be able to, you know, clinch the division here sometime soon. It's always amazing how a guy can, you know, keep his composure up there. Do you have any tricks or anything to say to yourself when he gets to that? Yeah, you're not going to be in a perfect game in that situation, but, you know, take every picture well. And anything you say to yourself to remind yourself, like, I got to stay calm, I got to do this one on mechanics or whatever? No, not really. I think, uh, for the most part, if you're just pitching a normal game, if you're winning, even if it's only one to nothing, you know, and you're giving up a few hits, I'm not uh, nervous on the mound at all. You know, I could be bases loaded, nobody out, and I'm just, you know, getting the task at hand. But uh, today was a little bit different. There was definitely some nerves out there at the end of the eighth and going into the ninth. Just a little bit. It's a uh, spinning girl over the place there. I know. <laughs> you got sloppy when you drink. <laughs> Enjoy it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good job, Bronson. Thank you. Thank our old friend had no rubber for the next home stand. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got beer, we got media, we got everybody in here. That's all it takes. Well, I'll tell you what. Bronson just did an outstanding job ahead, ahead of the hitters all day long, and I'll tell you, I was I was excited, not only for him, but the way this crowd got behind them from the seventh inning on, every pitch, every out was just huge, and the place was on was on its feet. It's a remarkable day, it's a historic day, and it couldn't have happened to a better guy. Bronson Arroyo did a tremendous job today. I'm glad you saw him for six years. No, Arroyo was outstanding. Uh, gosh, he was ahead, you know, the other day, just five days ago, we were talking about how 
for him, he was behind in the counts and didn't get ahead. And today he faced 27 guys. He had first pitch strikes on 22 of them. And uh, I don't know how many three ball counts he had, only one or two three. all day, three. And, you know, he did it on 101 pitches. And most of the guys he had two strikes on all day, it seemed boom, boom, boom. And they didn't hit any balls really hard. The one ball went to deep center field out there on the track, and that was it. And it was in control. And then it was a tough little play at the end, really. I mean, it's, it's a good, it was a good play for us, number one, and I think it's a kind of game that brings guys close together. Everybody's pulling for the guy to be able to do that, number two, and uh, some guys probably may, we're going, I don't know if they'd answer this, some guys probably may hope they didn't hit the ball to him when he gets the two <laughs> outs right there, but that's part of going through something like this, and you don't see a perfect game every day, much less seven inning jobs. You see one, a few more, it seems, seven innings now and then, and I got to tip my hat not only to Arroyo's ability today to command the ball, but Hass did a tremendous job of pitch calling and lo locations, and of course he hit the spots. And both of those guys will probably have a tough night going to sleep tonight. You know, I know I was lucky enough to catch one one time, and I stayed up most of the night. You just keep visualizing those pitches a lot, especially for the last couple of innings when it gets to that point. And, and I'm not sure if this was good or bad. I was disappointed in the eighth inning. We came in offensively and only saw four pitches. And I'm thinking, man, we need to give a guy, a guy a break, you know, after the seventh inning. And I was afraid that we didn't give him enough break to catch his win, but maybe mm -hmm. it didn't give him enough time to sit on the bench and think about yeah, it a yeah. whole lot. Mm -hmm. So it's probably, that was probably end up being a plus. Yeah. And offensively, you know, we didn't hit the ball that hard in the first inning, but... Uh, you know, we had some cheap infield hits, and they mounted up, and then they missed a pop-up, and then Collier had the big two-run hit in the inning, and we added a few as we went and made it a lot easier.